Hey viewer, welcome into the channel. I hope you are having an amazing day. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm gonna start by giving you guys a few notes and lighting this incense real quick. Welcome back, you guys, if you're returning, okay? Um, be sure to check out the other zodiacs as I have good tidbits of information in all of my readings, okay? I try to give you guys some pertinent and knowledgeable or, you know, something to help you grow, all right? And all my readings, I try to give you whatever I found out. So, in this case, it's like whatever you found out is assisting you. Okay? It's assisting you in restoring others. It's assisting you in, sh in leading the way or being a guiding light or just being an example or just getting through. Okay? We have healing at the bottom of the deck. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. What's your overall energy here? I feel like you are a healer that I'm talking to, whoever you are. Okay, viewer. Um, it's something about your energy. This is what Source told me that your energy does, okay? You restore others by bringing or leading people into the fire, okay? Into the storm, into the pain it's like a leading lead into it energy okay like you make them lean into it instead of what we would normally do is run from avoid um we would uh um try to mask or or all together just you know not go over there i don't know the word other word i'm looking for um, it's not coming to me. But anyway, we would try to do that. We would basically try to avoid uh, um, these type of energies like a tower, okay? But in this case, um, your energy actually, um, it encourages people to go towards the fire. We've been told for so long, don't touch the fire. Don't do this. Don't do that, okay? But in your case, like, I don't know if people are just drawn to you, okay? Overall energy with love here. People could just be drawn to you. Where like a moth to a flame. They cannot help but go towards the fire, okay? Um, they cannot help but be, be willing to walk through the fire, okay? Um, all right. That's not what I was trying to say, but whatever. <laughs> Walk through the fire, one does it come out? So basically, um, your energy refocuses the attention of those who have been hurt or traumatized so that they can experience the event or trauma differently. This, so basically, let me say that again. So your energy, whoever you are, um, refocuses the attention of those that are hurt or traumatized so that they can experience the event that traumatized them or the trauma that traumatized them differently in turn this is freeing willy so you be out here freeing willy viewer i mean yeah viewer cancer energy okay um so mothering energy here you restore stability in others okay you could help people see that they are loved that they are worthy of love all right um you could all right ace of wands at the bottom of the deck you could six of pentacles you could show people that they are worthy of justice or how to achieve this justice for themselves okay you could have been through the fire yourself that's how you know that it's nothing to fear you could have been through the fire several times but you overcame like you rose like the phoenix did okay so in my um in my life i've definitely been in the fire so many times look ace of swords <laughs> ace of wands but now i know like just getting the damn fire i get in the fire like okay once a week i'm like look i don't know did i do anything wrong I don't know. Let me get my ass in the fire. Is anything attached to me? I don't know. Let me get my ass in the fire. So I want to talk to you about what getting in the fire is, Cancer. Okay? Um, I feel like you know this or maybe you don't. I don't know. I'm just going to share my little ticks, ticks, tricks, tips and tricks um, with you so that um, maybe you can uh, come out of any sabotaging energy. Okay? So let me do this right here one second. Okay, now, um, 
also beware of any distractions okay cancer so let's get into it cancer basically what i do when i say put myself into the fire is i imagine a large campfire that my ancestors have set for me um during meditation okay and in this fire um i know i know that i can step into this fire okay um with the knight of cups okay i can step into this fire and i can receive forgiveness i can receive purification cleansing okay i can receive knight of cups i can receive love emotional support stability okay um and that's exactly what this energy is ace of wands okay um so maybe you feel like you're not sure maybe you um have always been taught not to get into the flames okay that the fire you fear the fire run from the fire don't get in the fire okay the fire you know we always say the fire is hot it's gonna burn you facts it does but on astral when you're stepping into the fire what you're doing is you're asking for your ancestors and the divine who is the highest white light which the fire is going to represent for you when you step into it um um, you're asking for them to purify you cleanse you okay cleanse your astral body your astral body is not made of this flesh um, or this skin your astral body is made of light okay so because your astral body is made of light then why wouldn't you reunite with the light that your astral body is made of which is the fire okay so we have the hangman here cancer pisces energy there could be a pisces in your energy that is feeling um i'm hearing the loss of you cancer um someone is feeling hung up or tied up restricted okay there's an energy here where like maybe someone is just not really sure how to approach you okay cancer or how to approach i feel like they're healing okay um and so you're going to be the one that's going to restore others you're going to be the one to show people how to approach this healing now we said you're freeing willie well willie is your inner child okay the one that can become this hanged man okay um so you're freeing this person knight of cups the hangman you're showing yourself love and support by stepping into the fire the fire that your ancestors create okay this is like ancient with the six of pentacles here this is ancient um sacred practices okay this is what your ancestors used to do okay um they wasn't chanting and dancing around in fires for nothing the hindus don't either and neither do the arabians okay it's a lot of religions that dance around the fire okay the fire is powerful the fire symbolizes something very significant and sacred with the three of cups okay so basically Willie being your inner child, the one that you are reuniting with, the one that you are being called to nurture, called to bring more to the forefront and heal, okay? Um, maybe we've been taught like, no, you sweep that under the rug. You you don't worry about that right there. You you, you run for, like you avoid, but there's an energy of there. You're no longer able to avoid, okay? You cannot avoid anymore. So there's a need for you to reunite with this old remedy or therapy or a process, this old, um, this old flame no more losses okay um cancer we are learning how to turn l's with the four of cups okay into sevens okay l's into sevens knight of pentacles here all right so you're going from l's to sevens four of cups to the knight of pentacles receiving going from not receiving or not enjoying what you are receiving not enjoying experiences to being fulfilled enjoying having options being free moving queen of swords okay aquarius uh, um, Libra and Gemini energy here I'm hearing fulfillment this is you moving from feeling unfulfilled to fulfilled filled because your cup is going to have sustenance in it because you will have filled yourself up so you have something to give because I feel an, an energy where someone's emptied out or trying to do too much your ability to speak yeah because yes oh my god so what i have right here sevens mean you are getting rid of the hangman energy the choke the stagnancy and damn it the hangman card is out here i can't i just cannot i'm tripped out because i just looked at my notes what i have written i'm tripped out your ability to speak into okay with the queen of swords this is your wisdom 
This is whatever knowledge you hold. This is whatever sacred practices you partake in. This is your ability to be able to speak into, through, over, around, um, and remove the invisible chains. So you're becoming very powerful, Cancer. So there's a need for you to clear your space to make sure you're not stagnant. Um, that way you are able to discern those who are because you're needing to discern them so that you can heal them with the star card. Okay, this is what you were chosen to do. This is your job. But there's a need for you to break free first. Okay? With the seven of swords. All right, because right now this is the this is the this is the L, okay. But we need to turn that around, okay. So it, it's interesting that Seven of Swords came out as we're talking about these sevens. All right, now Seven of Swords could also represent you being able to strategize, you being able to plan, you being able to do what you need to do. Hold on one second. Okay, um, so let's see, Cancer, Page of Pentacles here. All right. Page of Pentacles. Yep. This is you using your um, your abilities, your capabilities, your gifts. Okay? Because I'm getting gifts from the star card. Using your gifts, your spiritualness, your spiritual enlightenment, whatever it is you possess, your power, whatever this is, Queen of Swords, your wisdom, using that matched with your mind. Like someone right here has a really great mind. Okay? A really really great mind and source is going to show you how to use what you know okay to restore others to to eliminate obstacles for others to eliminate um, pains to free people okay um, the other energy of leading people to the light or into the light with the Emperor energy here is your ability to call out trauma in people so that it can come up to the surface for that healing okay and once it comes up being a safety net for people so that they feel safe enough with you to further elaborate in that space because sometimes you know like if you've ever been through something you start crying and then when someone comes in the room you stop crying okay it's like that like cancer your energy needs to be where people feel safe enough to cry with you Okay, because it's the, the release, the full release from the body of those that are hurt that is going to bring them healing. You're reading, you got a specific job here to do, Cancer, Queen of Wands, okay? Um, it's it's a need, this is your, I'm getting like, this is your Ace of Cups, it's your job, this is your task, okay? You are here to help those that are burdened as it relates to family traumas. Someone here has been through a lot of family trauma. You went through all of that family trauma, all that abandonment, five of swords, all the sabotage, three of swords, all the hurt, ten of pentacles within the family revolving around maybe money or you not having enough, you not feeling provided for. You went through all of that mental and emotional battle two of wands okay physical battle someone here went through some type of physical abuse whatever this was that you went through you went through it with the ace of cups so that you could come out on top one but not to come out on top selfishly by yourself just for on your own selfish reasons but so that you could be able to share and uplift others that have gone through this same type of trauma but there's a need for you to provide safety people got to feel safe Queen of Wands. That's your next role. That's your job. Restoring others by providing safety. Safety. You ever want to pour out your heart to someone and then they tear you down right after that? Hell no. Nah. That person going to keep it all in. And maybe that's the thing. You need to learn how or show people how to be able to express themselves. But from a healthy view perspective a way that brings healing nourishing that's your energy healing people on an emotional level letting them know they're worthy of love but you gotta know you are worthy of this same love okay look at that you gotta know nine of cups two of cups okay eight wands someone out there sees you as wish fulfillment okay but i don't know i feel i feel like a resistance I feel resistance. 
and it may be rightfully so you never know but anyway don't resist this process don't resist the growth don't resist the pain the trauma don't resist the fire that's where you find your healing don't resist the storm that's where your growth is you can't avoid it you have to go through it when you know it's coming lean into that motherfucker you see how this two of wands right here is uh uh going toe to toe okay it's like lean into it aries energy okay reclaim your power instead of giving your power away show people how to do that show people how to reclaim their power instead of giving their power away as it relates to how they communicate the suffering how they live with it the trauma how it happened to them excuse me it happened for them and not to them or however the saying goes to help people change their perspectives but make sure they feel safe and i feel like you're doing that cancer you have a brilliant mind very discerning let's see what else is going on there's definitely someone who's sorry apologetic woe is me almost mentality is what i'm getting here this could be like a past like this could be your mother an auntie this could be a feminine this is a feminine energy that's older that's like look you know maybe this person's going to show you the ropes maybe they're going to show you how to shine your light this little light of mine they're going to show you how to overcome some type of obstacle because they've overcome it emperor energy i feel like don't ever get too big for your boots or your britches you know how the old folks used to say because you can always learn something i've had to tell myself that like let me chill whoa 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 hold up and that's when i pull my energy back let me pull away let me let me reflect on myself you know what i'm saying let me make sure i'm in the right here because i sagittarius don't like to be in the wrong know that first and foremost cancer we gonna make sure we in the utmost <laughs> in the utmost because we don't like nobody telling us nothing okay so that could be you, Cancer. Maybe that's maybe there's a mother that's trying to tell you like, hey, you know, or you're trying to tell your mom something. Maybe someone's had some outdated thinking and they're like, look, it's time to mature from this way of being or thinking. And maybe someone, you know, is not really trying to hear that. But it's like everything because you're seeing you only stab your own. It's like someone's only stabbing their own self. This is you or someone else, Cancer, with the three of swords. That's eight swords. Someone's trapped or stuck. But it's like they did it to themselves. And you could be showing them the way. Like, let me show you how to get out of this. It could be your mom. Like, look, you're stuck in this old way of thinking. Like, let me show you a new way to being or thinking. Like, your old way, mom, this is outdated. Like, I'm even getting like, this could be as minute as someone showing their mom how to use a phone. Or showing their grandma how to work the phone. Just being that, that, like just that moment of, of attention, that, that moment of tenderness, that moment of patience, that moment of care, just that small effort, that small tweak. And it's like, boom, you made someone's day. You restored someone's energy. Anyway, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.